Ken from Badger Airbrush here. Happy to speak with all the customers of PM Hobbycraft and PM Hobbycraft themselves. They've got me all mic'd up, seriously mic'd up. Uh, in any case, I'm going to take a few minutes to inform on a couple new Badger products that will be uh, offered through PM Hobbycraft very soon if they're not already. The first is our new Extreme Patriot 105 airbrush. And uh, this is a feature loaded airbrush, essentially a, a sports car, luxury car, uh, uh, all mixed into one. The foundation product is the original standard Patriot. But the Extreme has a lot of uh, upgrades and features to it. Things like a taller trigger, uh, it's about a quarter inch higher and it rolls on the finger. Rather than pulling it, you actually roll it and it gives a greater level of control. Has a pack dial, which is this little screw piece on the bottom. As I turn this in, it'll cut down my airflow to the nozzle. It'll cause the airbrush to spatter, which is an effect that's often desired if you're going to put uh, mud on the tracks of a tank or uh, want to weather a model railroad car with a mud look to it. The spattering can help make that happen. It's got a finer nozzle than the original uh, Patriot. This is a .3 nozzle. The one downside is that the needle is more exposed, so you need to be very careful when using it. But this needle nozzle design with the finer nozzle and a longer uh, linear airflow angle actually provides a more accommodating fine line pattern with you know, heavier acrylic type uh, paints that will frequently clog up a .2 or finer nozzle in an airbrush. Uh, also has new finishing technology. Uh, this is a material we call Coat, And Coat has a lot of characteristics similar to Teflon. And the benefit of that is that paint doesn't really stick to it very well. So cleanup of this airbrush is much easier, especially down in areas like the inside of the color cup that oftentimes aggravate a modeler when they got paint down in there and they'd like for it to come out easier than it sometimes does. So that's a rundown on the highlight features of the new uh, Extreme Patriot 105 uh, airbrush. And again, that's something you can get at PM Hobbycraft very soon, if not already. And uh, we'll go into our next product uh, real quick, which is another uh, very popular item already. And uh, that's Badger Steinel Res Primers. And we're actually, if uh, it, our cameraman's gonna pan down here and you can see the display uh, of the uh, Steinel Res Primers, we'll move some of the cool artwork out of the way. Steinel Res Primers now come in six different tones, white, gray, black, neutral yellow, red, brown, and olive, uh, green. Uh, fantastic primer, does everything a primer is supposed to do. Very sandable, it feathers nicely. Uh, it dries to a hard, flat finish, very durable. Um, so painting over it is an absolute dream. And uh, all one needs to do is Google Steinel Res Primer. Um, yeah, it may be an awkward name. And anyone who's wondering, Styrene Vinyl Resin equals Steinel Res. And uh, that's where that name comes from. But if you Google Steinel Res Primer, you can see some of the numerous reviews that are already out there about this uh, wonderful product and you'll see why many modelers are converting to it over the primers that they previously used simply because uh, we took the standard and leveled the, you know hired the bar by about three levels at least uh, on it with what Steinel Res does so uh, we hope you'll take a look at some of Badger's new items and uh, you know you can get them at PM Hobbycraft and we appreciate you giving us a little bit of our time viewing this video thanks <laughs>